and girls, let's go over our rules when we are in the computer lab. We have our hands in our lap. We're sitting flat on our bottom. We're not sitting on our knees or our feet. And we're not talking, ladies, gentlemen. And our eyes are up here on the front board. They're not on our friends or our shoes or looking around the room at things. We are looking straight at the board. So, we are not starting programs today like iStation or iReady or STMath. We are going to do a review of the keyboard and the rules. The rules to start out with, of course, is to be very quiet because we don't want uh, to disturb our other students when they're concentrating. We also do not chew on the headphone wires, even second graders. I mean, I see kindergartens do it in first grade, but second graders, I've even seen them chewing on the headphone wires. Please don't put them in your mouth. And please don't pull on the keyboard, you know, the keys. Don't try to mess with them. We had children last year taking keys off the keyboard, and that's very bad. If, if we see you destroying school property, your parents will pay for it. And do you think your parents want to pay for that? No. So if you see someone destroying school property please let me know that's not tattling that's doing the right thing can you remember that yeah. okay today we are going to go over keyboarding and we're going to click here on ABC -a. it's got all those wonderful colors uh, it's a tree looking thing uh, sometimes it looks like balls or balloons but we click on that And when you click on it at your computer, it'll probably pull up Kinder. See how Kinder has a K? You're not Kinder. So you will go to the grade you're in. If you're a first grader, you're going to click on grade 1. If you're in second grade, you're going to click on grade 2. two. Very good. So let's go to grade 2 since that's who you are today. If we were first grade, you'd click on 1. So let's go to grade 2. And you're going to see ABCs, numbers, holiday, strategy, and skills. Skills is like learning how to drag and drop, or in this case, using the keyboard and learning how to find your letters on the keyboard. So everyone point to the purple. Now remember, in case somebody forgot, when you want to open the game, you have to click on it like two or three times. One, two, three, using your left finger on the mouse. If you don't know your left finger, I have put a yellow dot on the mouse, and you should be able to click on that. So here we're going to click on the purple skills, and this is a menu, boys and girls. How many of you go to the restaurant and you order from a menu, and that menu tells you what you can order, like spaghetti or pizza or hamburgers, right? So this menu, boys and girls, instead of telling you what kind of food to eat, it's telling you what kind of games you can play. So we're not going to do letters or numbers or holiday or strategy. We're going to go to skills. Point to the purple and say skills. Skills. And there's all kinds of skills. There's the snowball and painting. And here's a keyboard game that's fun. There's a snowman game that's fun. But what we're going to do is there's cup stacking right here. Point to those yellow red and blue cups say cup stacking keyboarding cup stacking keyboarding click let it open up wait did they play it? yes it loaded so now we're going to go to this arrow point to the arrow click in the air with your finger while I click the mouse with mine Down here, does anyone know what that says? Start! Start the game. Instructions. So, only when the letters are white. See how those are white? That's not white, but that one is. So let's click on start. And what letter is white? The D. The D. So look at this keyboard that I'm holding up. I'm going to look for the letter D because they're not in ABC order. You have to look for your letters. And they're right here. Do you see that? I'm going to click on the D. There. And look what happened. 
Now what letter am I going to click on? Y. So I'm going to look, 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 look. There's my Y right here under the number 6 and 7. So that's going to help you learn your keyboards. And what letter? Now notice at the top, the time is ticking, so I'm going to go as quickly as I can. Okay, you don't have to say them now. I'm going to just type quickly so I can show you what happens at the end of the game. I'm a quick typer because I learned my letters on the keyboard when I was in seventh grade. I took typing class. I can even do it without looking. Watch, watch my eyes. I'm not even looking at the keyboard. But you'll need to look, learn to look at the keyboard until you know how to find these by memory. Ah, sometimes you'll make a boo boo and it'll make a weird sound like that because I'm typing too fast. Ninety six seconds so far. It's taken me. Ah. Well, that's because I've been typing for a long, long time. You'll get good at typing. If you practice this game, you'll get really good. 115 seconds. Yay! Do you see the 115 right here? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. You're not racing against each other. Don't say, oh, I beat you. You took 200 seconds and I only took 20. No, don't do that. What you want to do is beat yourself. So you're going to go here where it says, play again and this time I want to see if I can do it in less than 115 seconds maybe I can do it in a hundred seconds maybe I can do it in 75 seconds so I want you to play this game three times how many times Three. then when you're done playing it three times and hopefully you'll get and you can tell me later what your seconds are you can say miss Lopez I went from 300 seconds to a hundred seconds you can tell me that later so then you go back to grade two, or one if you're in first grade, or K if you're in kinder, and you're going to go to the purple, everybody goes to purple, and find some other game that you like, okay? There's lots of typing games. There's Typing Rocket Junior, there's Keyboard Invasion, Keyboard Challenge. There's lots of keyboard games as well as some other games. Now, at the end, when it's time to go, who remembers what we do? Yes, sir. Yes, what is your name? Elias has it all. We go up here to the red dot. Can you guys put your hands up in the air like you're stopping something and say stop? Stop. Red dot. Red dot. But I'm going to show you a secret. You can do that or, boys and girls, watch this. I'm going to show you a secret. On your keyboard, you have, it's different than the white keyboards, the matte keyboards that we had last year. Let me open this up. Oh, come on, open. Ah, it's not opening. Well, on your keyboard, you're going to see, there it is. You're going to see this flag looking thing. It kind of looks like a checkerboard almost. See that right here? Last, last year, remember, it was the curly. On the black keyboard, it's it's a flag looking four square. Say four square. And then you're going to hold that down with one finger. Everybody put your finger in the air. Pretend you're holding that little four square. Now take your other hand and take your finger and pretend you're tapping the Q. Okay? So it's the four square, this one, and it's the Q. Remember last year it was curly Q? This year it's four square Q. Let me make this bigger. So one finger goes here, hold it down, don't let go, in the air, and the other finger taps the cue. So I want everybody to say, hold the four square. Hold the four square. Tap the cue. Tap the cue. Again, hold the four square. Hold the four square. Tap the cue. Tap the cue. Um, and this is what it's going to do. Did you see that? 
that's a little bit faster than the red dot, but you can do either one. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. And then, just like Elias said, after you, he said log out, but what that is, is that's quitting the game. After you quit the game, you push in your chair, you put up your headphone, and you stand in front of your chair. Boys and girls, do we stand on the wheels? No. no, I see kids doing that. That's very dangerous. You stand with your feet flat on the floor, with your back to the chair, waiting for either me or your teacher to tell you to leave. Do you understand? Yes. And one final thing. Do not run in this room. It's dangerous. And please do not talk to one another because you're disturbing concentration. And I like the way you raised your hand. Always raise your hand when you have a question. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yes, I, 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 if, you, if, if we come to the end of class and someone doesn't know how to do the four square cue or doesn't know how to stop or dot, please help each other. That's a great idea. Yes, sir. Can we play a little bit game class? No, you may not play any other games than the games that I showed you. Now, listen, you will have assigned seating, but I don't have your class list yet. That means you will sit at the same computer every time. But right now, you will just sit at any computer until I assign you one. Do you understand? Once I tell you what number you're at, you're going to stay at that number for the rest of the year unless we change you. Do not sit next to someone you're going to talk to. Sit next to someone that you can get some help from if you need help or that you can help if, if you're a good helper. Do not talk. Do not run. You are going to walk quietly and slowly and get on the ABC again and get started until it's time to quit. Let's walk quietly and slowly to the computers.